Quiet on set, we're gonna go live. Five, four, three, two, one. What's howling, Lobos? Today is Tuesday, May 23rd. Welcome back to La Mesa Live. I'm Taylor, and this is my co-anchor, Caleb. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Seventh graders, your textbooks are due today. If you forgot to bring your books today, set yourself a reminder to bring them before school tomorrow. Remember, students who do not return their books or clear fines are on the loss of privilege list until the issue is resolved. If you have a friend who forgot their books, help them remember to bring them tomorrow so that they don't miss out on any fun activities. Tickets to the 8th grade shindig are on sale. Do not miss out on a fun chance to hang out with all your friends before junior high is over. For just $10, you can get a meal from The Habit, get to play on inflatables, sign yearbooks, and so much more. There are still a lot of unclaimed yearbooks. If you purchased a yearbook but did not get it yet, come to room 472 at brunch or lunch and pick it up. If you haven't purchased one yet, you can buy yours from the ASB window for $55. If you aren't sure if you purchased one or if your parents purchased one at registration, come by room 472 and check. The library is only open for counter business today. Counter business includes dropping off textbooks, returning library books, printing an assignment, or purchasing a new ID card. A list has been posted outside on the window of Mr. Patterson's office. The list contains all the names of 8th grade students who will be receiving an award at this year's 8th grade award ceremony on Thursday, May 25th. Be sure to check the list and see if you will be receiving an award. Attention all 7th graders attending next year's Washington, D.C. trip. If you are participating in the Seize Candy fundraiser, this is a reminder that the order form and money is due by Wednesday, May 24th. Orders will be available for pickup on Tuesday, May 30th. Please see Ms. DeBica at room 621 if you have any questions. On Thursday, May 25th, come dressed as your favorite meme. From Arthur to SpongeBob, there are so many memes to choose from. If you tried out for the Canyon High School dance team, the results are now available. Please check the list posted outside the main office to find out. It's very important that you do this quickly since you are requested to respond to the teacher there by today. There will be a short meeting for 8th graders taking advanced placement science next year at Golden Valley in the NPR on Wednesday during lunch. If you didn't sign up to take this class but would like to, it's not too late. Come to the meeting and chat with Ms. Wirtz to find out more and get your questions answered. And now, a spotlight on one of the groups here on campus that brings La Mesa a ton of pride. One program La Mesa students may not know about is jazz band. So let's get to the members of this class. My name is Tristan and I play the trumpet. My name is Patrick Rayco and I play the alto saxophone. My name is Vanessa Ramirez and I play the berry saxophone. My name is Fromi and I play the trombone. Jazz band is where we all get together like early in the morning and then we learn jazz and we learn like about jazz and we get to play jazz. Jazz band is like, it's like another family where you get to play charts and jazz music and all that, you go to festivals. I like that we get to break the rules and we get to be rebellious. My favorite part about jazz band is coming together each morning and playing like with my friends. 
my favorite part is um, coming together and playing music with everyone. Uh, Mr. Stefan holds these auditions and he asks us to do like specific stuff and if we're good enough then we get in. And now, let's get to know Mr. Stefan, the teacher of jazz band. Jazz band? Since 2002, that was the first Lobo jazz band. They need to know their basic skills of how to play their instrument, how to have a nice embouchure, to uh, be able to read music. They need to be able to know um, their B flat their E flat, their concert F and A flat scales, along with their chromatic. And they also have to have a willingness to want to learn to play with that kind of jazz accent, to be willing to listen to jazz artists and try to emulate them. Well, jazz band is really only open to uh, La Mesa band members. It's rare, but um, I have in past years gone outside of the La Mesa band program to um, to see if there's any talent that's out there that's not part of the La Mesa Band program um, for certain instruments like the electric guitar, um, also sometimes for piano, those type of specialty instruments. But the rest of them though, you have to pretty much be a band member. And then um, when the, the year begins, then I end up opening it up to uh, students that have been excelling in class in both the beginning and sometimes beginning band and mainly the advanced band and then we have an audition process and uh, that's how I formed the band. What is jazz band? Jazz band is a place where we end up learning an amazing American tradition of a certain kind of music and we just have fun. We have a lot of fun early in the mornings. It's a great way to wake up every Tuesday, Thursday. This answered some of the questions you might be having about jazz band. And now, here is their performance from Jazz Lunch. Today in history, on May 23rd, 1827, America's first nursery school was established in New York City. Today is also the birth date of American comedian Drew Carey. He is 59 years old. For the remainder of the school year, the word of the day will be a review word from this quarter. The word of the day for today is antidote. It is a verb. The definition is a treatment to, account, a treatment to counteract an unhealthy condition. A sample sentence would be, after the snake bit him, I searched in my backpack for an antidote, but I couldn't find one. Something you should know about today. Today is World Turtle Day. Turtles are a type of reptile that exists in many environments throughout the world and have found their way into literature, fables, and poetry all throughout the world's history. World Turtle Day celebrates these noble reptiles and their place in the world and encourages people to take action to help protect both the common pet turtle and the ever-endangered sea turtle. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For Taylor and the entire crew of La Mesa Live, I'm Caleb. Have a transitionary Tuesday.